go. So we're doing a video because I'm just in the process of making a wet air pump for George Witt's triple. Um, this is my design. I, a lot of people don't believe me when I say I don't work to dimensions or drawings except for what's in my head, but so this will be the proof, I guess. Uh, I drew up a wet air pump. Ignore that. This would be if the pump is short stroke, but the uh, this is the bottom port, and that's what I did. I cross milled right through there and in there, and we get, there's a piston in there, so let me just get it out. This is the bucket piston, which is also going to be a check valve. There's the bottom port and the cross port. It's going to be a 5 16th pipe, and I might custom make a check valve for it. Uh, because the check has to be really quick action, so uh, rubber seated check, maybe not, because the PM research checks, which are rubber seated, are great checks, but they require a significant amount of backflow to seat a lot of the time, especially when they're new, and that's no good, because if the piston comes down and there's backflow, it'll ruin the whole vacuum in the condenser and everything, and you won't get any water out of the condenser, so I've got a pretty nice tight machine fit here. <laughs> You can see it shoots the piston out. See, so that's that's fairly good. The piston, I'm going to drill holes around radially, and I'm thinking this will be a rubber rubber flap because I've seen this work before, and then this kind of dome over it will be a follower that sits the, uh, the rubber ring will attach to it, and it will be holes radially drilled. And the nice thing about this follower is it will use the piston rod as kind of its own crosshead, so there won't be any wobbling or uh, eccentric misalignment. It'll run on the piston rod. Um, so that's, that's the plan for this. this. This engine, the triple, I'll have to put a picture in the video or something so that they'll know what I'm talking about. It uh, never had a wet air pump, and it needs one. It needs a condenser in order to work effectively. That engine on 100 PSI steam and no vacuum at all indicates at one horsepower. With 25 inches of vacuum from a good condenser and 200 PSI steam, it will create uh, probably two horsepower. And from a 45 pound engine, that's not bad. And my plan is eventually get a flash boiler attached to it and uh, get it up on hydrofoils and see if I can propel myself at a high speed on hydrofoils with that engine. So wet air pump is the first step in that direction.